There is some breaking news about the breaking news. I'm just going to make a quick comment about uh, the breaking news that we just seen today. And there is a difference between that and the stuff that I try to put out. And I'm going to explain it now. I can't prove anything that I put out. I can't prove out my solve. I can't prove anything. And the fact is, nobody can prove that. Not even Jack can prove it until he comes out with a solve. But here's the difference. I don't just come out with news that, that says um, Jimmy Joe out there on, on Facebook and Jimmy Jack Black and, and Harry Redneck, Harry the Redneck sent me a secret email and they claim that that's where Jack first searched. So they're going to speculate and say that, that that has to be where the chest was found. Of course, all of that stuff is speculation, conjecture, and it, it doesn't really have any basis of proof whatsoever. Because if you notice this, none of those people ever showed the emails. So they, they never they never claim that here is the exact spot as I seen in the email. All right. But let's move beyond that, okay, and show a difference here. If somebody was gonna send me information from the email, okay, not only would I would I want to see that email and then I would show it to you, the second thing that I would do. Obviously, we can't prove a solve, but is a solution even possible at the location where these people are claiming that it was? And that's the thing that's always missing. All we ever hear is, is stuff that's controversy, you know? Oh, Redneck Harry, you know, or Redneck Jack, or this person sent me an email. And I'm not saying that you didn't receive the email, but I'm saying that you're totally relying on somebody that you don't know and, and especially even that, they, they're not using their real name and they're coming out with emails and they're not, they're not backing anything up. And then you're reading in stuff into that email and making claims that that's where Jack found the chest when you have no proof that that's where Jack found the, the chest. And, you, and you're right, like Mike Calazares had indicated, I can't prove anything either, but here's the difference. I go to great lengths to try to show you guys a, a solution that I believe is that I believe is backed up with a lot of evidence. I don't just, you know, come out with something and say, well, yeah, I believe that that it was, uh, you know, in the Bighorn Mountains. I actually go to extensive pains to show you exactly how I arrive at that spot. So if you're going to come out with breaking news and you want to compare it to me, then why don't you actually try to do a solve at that location on Slow Creek and prove to us the best you can that, that the sob is even worthwhile. You know, I, I really don't understand the point of everybody following Jack around and every last word that he says, because number one, Jack did not let us know who he was until Forrest died. And obviously that was probably done because he knows that the only person alive who could confirm or deny anything he says is no longer with us. So he could come out and say anything he wants. He's already told us that he has no intentions of giving out the solve, nor is he even going to sell the solve. So that basically means that he has no intentions of telling the community anything that you really want to know. He's coming up with excuses that he can't back up because Forrest Fenn is not here. Now, I'm be the first one to admit, and I always admit it, Jack is the finder. I don't believe there's any controversy. He found the chest. But it amazes me that he never came out with a solve. The people want to know a sob. They don't want to just hear a GPS cord and say that's where he went. Because Jack, let's be real here, he could have went and purchased the location. So even if you knew where he went to get it, how do you know that he actually solved it to get there? Now you might say Forrest Fence said the poem led him right to it. But where does that say that he didn't base his sob on information that was publicly available out on the internet? Okay. So anything that we hear, I think it would make sense that we try to back it up with a solution. Show us solid proof or, or show, first of all, show the emails and make sure that people give you their real name. If they can't do that, then they're not to be trusted. So just throw it all away. If they do give you the real name and show it, then have them come on your show or whatever, or have them draw up a solve that's convincing, that proves to us why they might think that the treasure was there. Because coming out and, and rattling off random locations 
you know, because Forrest talked about it in one video, that doesn't prove anything. You know, it, it's really, it's really annoying. I mean, I know that there's a lot of smart people in this community, but I, I, I really don't see anybody trying to come up with solutions. You know, yeah, you can't prove it, but I believe you could come out with something so compelling that at least it backs up what you have to say. That's what I try to do here. That's a big difference. I never, ever come out with any kind of breaking news or some kind of story that's based totally on hearsay because that's that can't be proven. I mean, that, that all that's going to do is drum up controversy. Now, maybe that's what some of these people like because controversy brings in people. That's why Jerry Springer was popular. And I'm not putting down Mike and, and Capro or Shannon or any of those people. They're all very intelligent. But I think you're being duped. You're already duped once before by the guy that claims he has a bronze sniffing dog. You know, and you're listening to searchers that never searched in Wyoming up until the last year or two. They, they you know, I, I really don't understand why you're not doing other constructive things. You know, maybe have a contest and have people submit short solves, one page, and then you look through them and see if they meet the requirements of the contest, pull up the top five or 10, and do a show about that. Let's start interviewing other searchers. Okay, you know, you don't believe my solve. That's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. Well, what is your solve? Before you're going to go give an opinion on other people's stuff, let us know what your solve is. It might be better. You know, but, but, but we're never seeing anything like that. All we're seeing is this stuff about, you know, so-and-so emailed me and, and this person emailed that person. This was posted on Facebook and then they deleted it later and, oh, we don't have anything to show you. We're not showing you the email. We're not giving you the, the you know, the only reason why you got us to the channel is because people were expecting to hear a location. Did you get that? No, you didn't get a location. But even if you did, and even if you've seen the news, who's backing it up? There's, a, like I said, a lot of intelligent people. One of them, another one that I've talked about in many videos is Susie Benhaven, okay? She goes through the book and she does a really good job and she backs up what she says. Her content is worth watching because, believe her or not, at least she works her butt off and she tries to come up with compelling thoughts, you know? The same thing with uh, Rudy Green. You know, he's the same way. And, and I don't understand why everybody else is so focused on controversy and things that are never going to get us a solution and never going to get us a location that's believable because you haven't backed it up with anything that's compelling. Not only have I not seen anything compelling in, in Yellowstone, for example, it is an illegal place for him to have stored the treasure. You're allowed to do like geocaching in a national park. But there are limits, number one, if, and I may have these numbers not exactly right, but number one, it can't be valued at more than $1,000. Number two, it can't be there for longer than a year. Number three, you have to notify the park superintendent that you're going to be doing it. So Forrest Fan would have violated those three things. Now, Forrest Fan did not know who the finder was going to be. So, so suppose it wasn't Jack and it was somebody else. And suppose that person did what Forrest told you to do. <clears throat> he said that if you did find it in Yellowstone, you are required to bring it to the Spark Superintendent. So let's say the person did that, okay? The minute they did that, Forrest's estate would be up for lawsuits. And trust me, trust me, I come from a law enforcement family and detective family. I know what would happen. He would be sued. Period. They would sue him for each and every rescue that occurred in the park because they would be able to prove that he intentionally put the treasure there and the searchers, who were really at no fault, had no other way to get the chest but then to do what they did in Yellowstone. So hence, everything that happened in Yellowstone, he would be held responsible for. So Jack in no way would have got the chest right away. They would have held on to it during the investigation. Come on, folks. This is common sense. Now, it is true that Forrest was alive, and he could confirm that he's giving Jack the chest, but there's no way that the, the federal government is going to sit there and say, especially to somebody that they have an open case on, Forrest Wren, 
They're going to sit there and say, okay, Mr. Fenn, we'll just let him take it and go about his merry way. That's just not going to happen. I mean, this is common sense. So, you know, talk about trying to bias everything and disregarding everything else if it doesn't fit your area. If you want to do that, then come up with a compelling solve that backs up your area to begin with. Because otherwise, you're not really telling me anything. You're saying that, you know, well, your solve might not be right. And I already know that. I say that in every one of my solves. But at least I'm trying to show something. That's that's miles more than what everybody else is trying to do. And and I know that you people are smart, including Mike and, and Christy and, and all of you. You can come up with solves. Perhaps you can even come up with better ones than I have. And then let the community look at it. Okay, and let them decide what is most likely. That's the best that we can do. We're never going to get confirmation, but at least try to put forward a solve. That's all I'm saying. If you can't do that, then you really have no breaking news and you really have nothing worth while watching. It's nothing more than clickbait, period.